Eight weeks away from Election Day, and political races are heating up, including that battle for U.S. Senate. Democrat Mike Espy was out handing out food boxes in Jackson, keeping up a string of appearances, while the incumbent, Republican Cindy Hyde-Smith, is keeping a low profile and handling business in Washington. She hasn't held any public campaign events so far. 12 News senior political correspondent Gerald Harris reports on the direction of each campaign two months out from the election. Gerald? Hey, Melanie, Labor Day marks the sprint to the finish line. Traditionally, campaigns ramp up at this point, but with COVID-19 sticking around, they're doing it in different ways. Mike Espy today out in the community donating food boxes. Espy held the first outdoors social distancing rally. He says health care, education, and getting the country back on track is the top bill for Mississippi voters. It says Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith is sitting on her hand, but Republican political strategist Henry Barber believes even with Espy's efforts to wrap things up at eight weeks out, Heidi Smith remains a clear favorite. Well, the expectation is that she's going to win, that she'll win re-election just as she did two years ago against the same candidate, Mike Espy. Um, I think, Gerald, she needs to remind voters that this election, this fall, is a choice between liberal and conservative leadership in the U.S. Senate. He says issues Ms. Simmons care about will be on the ballot this fall. Espy says he's going to get some of those Republican votes for Senator Cindy High Smith. She spent the day in South Mississippi. The matchup on November 3rd will be a rematch of the 2018 special election, the closest Senate race in decades when just six, seven percentage points of the vote separated the two candidates. In Jackson, Gerald Harris, back to you, Mel.